The day after the election of Donald Trump as President of the United States, filmmaker Rachel Lears began working on a new documentary film. She liaised with grassroots organisations, Brand New Congress and Justice Democrats to find charismatic female candidates who were running in the midterm primaries up against incumbent politicians. The resulting film is Knocked Down the House and it follows four women totally inexperienced in politics as they take on the big guns. They're the charismatic waitress from the Bronx, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who's running against Senator Crowley, the fourth most powerful Democrat in Congress. In West Virginia, Paula Jean Serengen is running against vested interests in the coal industry, fighting against the pollution of her environment. In Missouri, ordained pastor Cory Bush is galvanised by the police shooting of an unarmed teenager in Ferguson. And in Las Vegas, there's Amy Vilela, whose daughter died after being refused treatment at a hospital because she couldn't prove her insurance. All of these women are aiming to represent ordinary Americans. It's a fascinating insight into the general dissatisfaction with the way their country is run. They are after improved healthcare, better wages for ordinary people. They're after taking away power from corporate interests and returning it to the people. They're gutsy, particularly Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who's articulate, charismatic and very attractive. My mom cleaned houses growing up. I never really saw myself going into politics. Americans aren't asking for a lot. They're just asking for politicians to help them get by. Made on very little money from crowdfunding, the film's proven a hit with audiences since it premiered at Sundance this year. Its style is fly on the wall, but what Rachel Lears has done with her writing partner Robin Blotnick who also served as editor, and she actually doubled up as director of photography, is present a portrait of women who are prepared to go the hard yards for their beliefs. As Alexandra remarks, for one of us to get through, a hundred of us have to try. It's a heartwarming experience, this film. I loved this film. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. It was so well done in the end. It was almost like a piece of fiction. It had everything you could imagine a great piece of fiction cinema and might a, have. There's and a pretty a, terrific ending. It had a terrific <laughs> ending. It had a great start. It had a great middle. I mean, it, it's it's moving. It's funny. There's a lot of humour in it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a tearjerker at times. The story is, is incredibly fascinating. You know, you, will they or won't they type of story. is And Alexandra, she is just a rock star. Yeah. She yeah, is brilliant in this. I mean, she occupies a lot of the film, quite obviously. Well, yeah, but, uh, uh, you know, because she is she's just articulate. And, and just so charismatic. Yeah, yeah. And so funny. We get to meet her boyfriend, which I thought was rather nice. Yeah. We've well, read you, about her for some you know, months. I mean, you get to, you're immersed in the families of these women yes, as well yeah. with their partners supporting them and they don't have the sort of funds that, you know, the official Democrats have behind them. I mean, I, no. they're really, really gutsy. They're all very touching portraits. Yes. Each of those women are really fascinating characters, and really. I, I mean, it's, it's reflective of how, you know, how generally the world is very cynical about, about our politicians, mm -hmm. which is really a shame. So, look, I'm going to give this four stars. I'm going to give it four and a half. I absolutely loved it. I get scared of the cynicism from people really believing in something and then it not working out. I just don't want to let them down. You have to be fearless or they're going to come after you. Nobody owns you yet. No matter what the outcome, it will never be the same. We're going to fight for each other. Some of us have got to get yeah. through. It's about the whole movement. For one of us to make it through, a hundred of us have to try.